The Florida Lottery revealed on Wednesday that the winner of last month's record $590.5 million jackpot is 84-year-old Gloria C. McKenzie of Sepphoris, Florida. McKenzie declined to appear before the media, but asked the secretary of the Florida Lottery, Cynthia Connell, to read a statement on her behalf. Today, I had the news we've all been waiting for. The winner has come forward, the ticket has been validated at Lottery Headquarters, and the winner of the $590 million jackpot is Mrs. Gloria C. McKenzie, 84 years of age, of Zephyr Hills, Florida. Mrs. McKenzie has elected to receive the winnings in a one-time lump sum payment of $370,896,780 million before taxes. This is in lieu of, pay, uh, of receiving 30 annual payments of 19683 before taxes. Mrs. McKenzie has declined to, uh, the opportunity to speak with the media today. However, she did ask that I share this statement with you. We bought the winning ticket as a single ticket, even though we bought four other tickets before the drawing. While in line at Publix, another lottery player was kind enough to let me go ahead of them in line to purchase the winning quick pick ticket. Her $2 ticket matched all six numbers chosen on May 18 in the multi-state Powerball drawing, making it the biggest single ticket payout in U.S. lottery history. The grand prize in the May 18 drawing had accumulated over two months and surpassed the previous record Powerball payout of $587.5 million set in November 2012.